Hello everyone, welcome to a new video series I'm doing where I'm going to showcase some CLI tools that perhaps are a bit lesser known or I haven't seen many videos on. The first of these is called Atuin or Atuin. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. If someone could uh, let me know, that'd be great. So let's take a quick look at what Atuin is and what it does before we get into why we should use it so you have an understanding of what's going on. So I've attached it to Control R, which is uh, how I've uh, always looked for reverse search or uh, search through my history. And so when we do that, we open this interactive. And if I wanted to look up my Podman commands, I could do Podman or, you know, EDP, which I do quite often to sometimes disable my um, uh, my uh, external display, um, i.e. for my laptop. Uh, but we can search through various commands. We can search through just on this host. We can search through for this session if we want, or for this directory. Uh, we can do control O, which gives us a bunch of this information about exit codes um, and uh, when it's been run, how it's been, uh, how long it took, etc., etc., etc. Where was it run? Like lots of other uh, various bits of information. And then we can do like between stats, which will show us our most run commands. So. No surprises really here for me. Uh, NeoVim, Home Manager, Git Add, uh, Zedoxide, Bat, as a, you know, I'm using these like daily all the time. Uh, so, yeah. So, as we just said, Atween is a tool which aims to change how you manage your shell history. So, rather than using perhaps the built in tools or FZF, which we'll take a look at in just a second, uh, we can use Atween to do that. So, what are some key features of Atuin that differentiate from other tools? Well, one thing is it seems to support all the major shells. Uh, so, you've got Fish, you've got Bash, you've got Z Shell, I believe it supports New Shell, and I think maybe even Elvish. Uh, so, most of the common shells should be supported by Atuin, and you should be able to use it. The main killer feature for me is it syncs and backs up our shell history. Too often I was manually copying my shell history, uh, making sure it was backed up, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I would find myself uh, having to remember to copy it to like a external SSD and try and remember to back it up on uh, Backblaze or somewhere else, you know, offsite. But you know, uh, you kind of need to remember to do that uh, rather than having it happen like kind of constantly, which Atuin does. And we'll take a look how to set that up. But you know, every 15 minutes, it'll go back up to wherever you have this Atuin server set up. Uh, and that's really cool. It's really powerful. It means you can share it between multiple machines. So I have a, a laptop and a desktop, and it means my shell history is basically synced between the two. Um, and I don't have to go and, oh, how did I do this? Or what was the curl command I was trying to run? Um, you know, a couple of days ago, like if you're traveling, for example, you need to use your laptop. And I think that's super powerful and it's fantastic. And it does mean that if something goes wrong with my machine, I haven't lost my shell history. I think for a lot of people, there's lots of really useful commands in their shell history. One other really uh, nice feature it has is that it has a really nice search interface, uh, which we saw earlier in the demo. It's definitely better than the built-in like fish shell one when you're trying to you know go through, you keep pressing Control R, for example, to look at your previous history. And I think where it's really cool is just providing a really easy way to search for stuff using fuzzy search or fuzzy finding, very similar to FZF. Uh, and that means is if you don't remember the exact command, maybe you remember the beginning and the end, you can kind of construct this command and the search history provides a really nice, easy way to do that. And as we saw, it provides some other features like you can inspect the command and see what else is going on. But I think it's really intuitive. Uh, it's really nice. And it's kind of this nice TUI, um, you know, terminal user interface. So let's take a look at what are some alternatives to Atween or in my case, what was I using before I moved to Atween? So the first one was just a built-in uh, reverse history search that comes with um, Fish. If we take a look at like when I first started using Linux, um, how I was using reverse search would be something like, uh, so this is bash now. I do control R and I could do like CD dot files and you could do CDR again and find uh, the previous version, but it's not easy to search through. CD dot files. 
Um, and obviously, as you can see, it's it doesn't provide a particularly nice interface. Oh, obviously, it's built in. You don't need any plugins or anything like that. So, you know, it's absolutely fine for what it does. Uh, but we can definitely improve on this. This is like very basic. Um, the next one, and I use this one for a very long time, and I still think it's very, very good, uh, the FZF reverse search. So if you install FZF or there's an FZF plugin uh, for Fish Shell, I know, and I'm sure they're similar for Z Shell and Bash, it provides a really nice interface uh, for doing reverse search history, for, sorry, searching through your shell history, um, and you can, um, you know, bind it to, again, that control R, uh, which, you know, I use to search uh, through my shell history and the great thing about that is again you do that fuzzy finding i think it's the fuzzy finding feature that makes it really powerful and uh, because it, we're using fzf behind the scenes uh which is a fuzzy finding uh, tool uh, and i'll probably do a video about that later um, if not there's lots of really good videos on youtube you can go take a look at um, highly recommend um, you can really integrate with some some of your other cli tooling i'm sure uh, to create some really powerful commands. But in terms of uh, searching your shell history, it's really cool because it's fast and it provides you with this um, reverse search. Um, I used a specific uh, plugin for uh, fish shell, which is the, the shell I, I've preferred for a couple of years now. And it was great. Um, this is a lot better for searching your history. All of a sudden you can do like Podman again, uh, see what pop pops up or home manager. That was a commander you run a lot here or even git uh, or Ezer, you know all these and you can you can uh you know really fast search your history see when they were last ran um and it provides a nice little interface and you can even like search in the middle so you can do like check out uh flake.lock and it will kind of match uh the words that it sees um fzf is pretty pretty great for that so you know it means that if, if you remember just certain words you don't have to uh remember exactly the command uh, which is really nice uh, and this was a big, big improvement over um, the, the built-in uh, search that I was previously relied on. And then, of course, we have Atween itself, which we've taken a look at. And that's kind of what I've settled on. And I've probably been using it for like nine months to a year now. It's kind of hard to keep track of. Um, but yeah, I've been using it for a while and I'm pretty happy with it. And I will probably stick with it for the foreseeable future. Just because, mainly because of that shell backup. Uh, just the fact it backs up my shell for me, and I think that's really cool. So if we take a look at how we can set up Atween on Nix, uh, it is one of my videos, so of course I'm going to mention Nix and uh, NixOS. There is a Home Manager module that we can leverage. For those of you who don't know what Home Manager is, you can think of it very similar to NixOS uh, options, but just for managing uh, things within the Home folder. So because this config is going to live within uh, my .config folder, Home Manager will manage that because it's in my home folder. Uh, but it won't do like system-wide changes. I'll do a video on Home Manager soon uh, because I think it's also very powerful and I, I really like using it. But anyways, there is an Atween Home Manager module. And what we can do is we can leverage some of the options. So we uh, enable it by doing programs.atween.enable.true which is what we've done here. Uh, I've set up a few options myself. I don't want the up arrow, which by default, uh, the up arrow, instead of going to your previous command, will show um, the Atween uh, interface and you could um, select from there or by default to have the last command selected. But I found I didn't really like that. Uh, next, we have a bunch of settings. In this case, um, I've self-hosted my own uh, Atween server, um, but you could equally just use the one provided. Um, everything's encrypted, and so it should be safe. So I'm pointing it to this uh, address uh, of where where my Atween server lives. Um, I've got it hosted on fly.io, hence that uh, fly.dev URL, set the sync frequency so every 15 minutes it will sync, um, and a few other things. Uh, the, we use SOPs uh, to encrypt files uh, using our SSH keys on our machine, and so that means uh, I can have secrets that live with my Nix config. Again, I'll do a video into SOPs and how I use that a bit later, but essentially what this is just saying is that it's going to take this uh, Atween key value from this file 
it's going to point it to this path where this file is going to exist and it's going to exist in this temp uh, directory somewhere so yeah that's uh, essentially what we have here we can configure atween from here um, obviously if you have your own atween server like i do there's a bit more configuration you need to do you can use uh, nixos as well the other thing I have is I nicked this uh, Atween export script from one of the GitHub issues uh, and I just turned it into a GitLab repository or a repository on GitLab and essentially all it does is it exports my history um, from Atween back to Fish uh, and the reason for that is if we leave NeoVim when I try and do this uh, command and you can kind of see in this kind of grayish it's suggesting something I could complete that only shows up in fish shell if you're using um, if it's in the fish shell history file but by default if it was put on another computer um, or it's synced sorry from another computer then of course it won't be in this computer's uh, fish shell it'll just be in the atween file which it manages it using a SQLite database so then to export that out I have uh, atween export fish shell history this command which when I run it will just uh, export this uh, and then if you do history you could do like rip grep and find that command if you wanted to right or, or grep, sorry. Um, rip grep is just another version of grep. So yeah, uh, that's that's something else uh, that I have there, which just makes my life a little bit easier. So I kind of get this autocomplete for some of these commands, or it tries to you know say, oh, are you trying to run this? And I find that useful. Um, I believe uh, with Z shell, this is kind of done automatically for you in Atween. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, if you're using Fish, as far as I'm aware, you have to do this manually. Uh, update your um, fish shell uh, history file.